So they breed a lot of angels and we'll show the breeding room and that kind of stuff later. But there's been several fish that I haven't seen in a long, long time. Nicholas I, this is a rare Egyptian mouth brooder. Gorgeous looking fish. But one of the things that I really thought was special, look at this, oh, the glare. That's a long fin black ram or dark night ram. I hadn't seen that before, so I thought that was pretty cool. These guys are kind of neat as well. I got the orange line endler. I remember one time, 10 years ago, I paid about $300 for a pair of those. Crazy. They have some really nice looking clown killies. I wish I could buy them this big and healthy in the States. These things are ready to go home and just look amazing. Some nice golden wonder killies. And you're gonna see lots of different angels. Suppose they have over 30 different types of angels. More of these long fin black rams. I definitely like the long fin version better. So a lot of these fish, you kind of got to really study them because they look normal. Like, oh yeah, it's albino corridoras. But these are albino paleatus corridoras. So you see the, like the gold color on the side, that metallic. You don't normally see that in the Anenius Cories or Anenius Cories. So stuff like that can be real subtle that you miss in a wholesale facility. I like to see they've got this normal haplo catfish, one of my favorite. These are paradise fish. There's a lot of normal stuff too that we won't spend too much time. Like the Kobu Tetra is one you don't see very often. That blue sheen to it. Keep going down a little bit. See some Rambo barbs. More long fin black rams. Blood fin tetras you don't see very often. I read those in, the st in my store in probably five years. Here's another rare live bear. The ones with all the color. Zenataka Aizenai. It's actually a type of goodie. Doing well, it's warm in here, so they're active up there for sure. The females are kind of more plain Jane in there. Some nice green tiger barbs. Here you've got the yellow belly live bear. Kind of a cool thing you don't see every day. They have very large gonopodiums. And sometimes you'll see them with the, the black on the underbelly. That's kind of like the ones I have in my fish room, the Metallicus. Keep going through here. I think these are Spilotus tetras. Let's see if I was right. Yeah, Spilotus tetra. These guys, if I remember right, are the ones that will jump out of the water, lay their eggs, and then splash the water onto the eggs, keep them wet. Another live bear here. I'm not sure which that is. They're so ravenous. Angels, black marbles down here. More black rams. You'll see lots and lots of cardinal tetras. Every wholesale facility usually has thousands and thousands and thousands. One of the most sold fish. And got to keep them healthy. These guys are super cool. These are like some super red Beckford pencil fish. I saw them in another tank, but this is, this is something special, I think. I have never seen the super red. Here's some albino neons. Gotta look for the diamonds in the rough. This Tetra, I haven't really seen it in America, but I've seen it a couple wholesalers now. I really kind of like it. Yeah. The Masonai cichlids. First cichlid, African cichlid I ever bred. Oh, here's something I can show you guys. This is how you breed uh, different Cynodonis. So what they do, you can't see the hole in the top, but they go in and they breed in the top half and the eggs fall down into the gravel, the stones, and they can't get back down and eat them. If you don't have that, they eat them. So, oh yeah, there's a hole at the top. You can kind of see every once in a while one will poke its head out. So that's how you breed a lot of the Synodonis. Some Lalupi, the big boy. The Supinus, my favorite. These guys don't get crazy big, so 
Yeah, now they've got uh, Limia Perugia, so another rare live bearer, if I can get, there we go. And these are those super red Beckford's pencil fish. Really cool, actually. We have these, uh, Nano Trasvasitis. So these little guys, really feisty but cool. They're kind of like the meanest epistogramma you've ever seen. They're not an episto, but they're kind of like that. Over here, they're prepping lots of stuff to ship out. The, basically, the one cool thing I wanted to show off is these guys right here. I think these are a type of chana. Really pretty cool. I'm not sure though, because chana aren't legal in America, so I rarely get to see them. Got some of the like platinum panda angels down here. Some spotted gars. This is prep water. A lot of times you'll see this come in. This has a little bit of methylene blue for when they're transferring fish or shipping them. So now we're in the breeder room. There's some really rare plecos in here. And then some cool angelfish, like, look at this red eye on this angel. So there's different morphs in here. Some have green water, some have a little bit of blue on them, like that. Mostly a red koi. Then look at this guy with the red eye, kind of silver and neon orange. Look at some of these down here. And I didn't color enhance this. It looks that bright neon orange is that bright neon orange. It's crazy. Right back here, L136. Some in the back as well. The angels are blocking it all. But they're just saying these guys go for more than 500 euros each. Lots of angel grow out. These is like the final stage breeders and then they will take them over to the other side to sell kind of same thing here you don't see that every day and then this like blue back here yeah like this look at these guys though look at those plecos these also go for 500 euros each looks to be breeding them there's quite a few and then I think they've got the more white version over here. Or maybe it's over here. Yeah, this is the more white version. You see there's quite a few of them. And I get over here. Mostly they have, like this probably is sitting on some bristlenose eggs. But over here, so you can see all these angels, but... It's all the plecos in the caves. They're nice and chunky and breeding, which angels always, let's see if I can get them to come up out of the way. Yeah. And then again, they've got a different set of breeding plecos over here. Pretty neat. We've got albinos. Look at the blue here. It's like a electric blue, a Cara blue. This is one of the new strains he's working with. You see, like it just it doesn't it doesn't even look real on camera. But that blue is new. It's real weird. It almost makes them look like they're missing scales or skin. These are all albino. More grow out. More plecos over here. Now look at the odontodes. That's the spiky parts. Yeah, look. Oh, the glare is terrible. Oh, I'm seeing fixed glare. Yeah, all the spiky parts, the odontodes. Pretty cool. Yeah, not a bad wholesaler. A lot of cool stuff, working on some rare stuff, specializing in angels. They're actually building a new facility too, just not ready. All right, well, if you enjoyed this, check out this right here. Dean teaches you how to breed angelfish.